Well, our next guest, Christina Ferrara, is known as one of the most beautiful women in the world. Her face graced the cover of a number of popular magazines, women's magazines. Uh, she was one of the most uh, sought after models in the business. And she started when she was 14 years old. She had an incredible marriage to a uh, auto executive, she might talk about. But her real love, her real love is in the kitchen. And she's one of the best cooks you have ever seen. Take a look. Christina Ferrar started her career as a supermodel. Her face graced the cover of major household magazines. Since then, she's written books and even started a home decorating company. Back in 1996, Christina was the host of the Family Channel's Home and Family Show. When Fox bought the network, the show went off the air. Then in October 2012, the Hallmark Channel asked Christina to join the revamped Home and Family Show with host Mark Steinis. It's a pleasure to welcome Christina back to the 700 Club. God bless you. Thank you. He has. <laughs> you look Thank lovely you. as always. Thank you. It's so nice to be back. Yeah. Tony ran Family Channel for us, and your husband, Tony Thermopolis, great TV producer, and uh, you were doing a show called what, Home and Family? It was Home and Family. Yeah. You were, yes. He, you were one of the first people to put it on the air. We did it That's in right. 1996, and we did it for four years. And then when the Family Channel was bought, then the show went away. But it's back again on the Hallmark back, Channel. Yeah. Well, man, <laughs> it was just a big party. For two, for two hours, you all just had a party. It everybody. is. Yeah. You know, we're still having a party every yeah. single day. You know, Universal built us. An, we had the original home, yeah. and then they built us a new house. This one actually has, like, heat and air conditioning in it because oh, the first time around too expensive, it was well, it was yeah, expensive yeah. but we did it so quickly but yeah. now uh, they built us a new home I have a wonderful new partner Mark Steinis and Good. we we do a two-hour live show every single day and it, there you are there we're dan there we are dan oh my goodness okay we, we're crazy dancing stuff. we crazy. have a live audience uh, everything that goes oh there's my friend Henry Winkler mm. he came on to do uh, the bolognese sauce that I'm going to be making in a little while Henry and Winkler Henry, is a cook he, the Fonz? The, he, he, he's probably one of the nicest men ever. Yeah. And he came on our show because he wanted me, to, he wanted to learn how to make the bolognese sauce that I made for him that he okay. likes. So we're going to be doing that in a little bit. Well, I have enjoyed, you're one of the greatest hostesses and I've enjoyed uh, uh, when you entertain being one of your guests and the food was unbelievable. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So good to see it's you. It's nice to see you too. You, you, you want to talk about your ex-husband automobile magnet or is it too painful to even discuss? No, you know what? Um, I, in my life, it, it was part of my life, a part of a, a very important part of my life. I have two beautiful children with John and, really? and three wonderful grandchildren. So, you know, it was a, um, it was, it was very sad the way everything ended, but I certainly don't regret it. And I, I you know, it's part of who I am. So yes, I can talk mm -hmm. about it. Do you want to ask me anything? <laughs> well, first of all, is, did he die? Is he still with us? No, he left us about eight years ago. He did really? Yes. Yeah. What was the matter? He, he just was too stressed out? Um, I, I, it was a combination of uh, his age. He was in his 80s, and he, oh, was he that old? Yeah, okay. he, he passed away. Of We're a talking about John, John DeLorean, DeLorean, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. the DeLorean car. Yes, yeah, he, he was the guru at General Motors. On a clear day, you can see General Motors, and That's he right. left. He was the crown prince of the company. Yes, he was, and he made a beautiful car, and he made beautiful children too. And I have grandkids. Yeah, so the two good. of you had beautiful children. Yes, we did. And yeah. you stuck with him. I remember you stuck with him. He was in prison, and he was <laughs> the, the feds got him on a racketeering charge and all right. that. And, and you stayed with him. You were here singing his praises, and I was that was very admirable. Well, that's right. Well, you know, and it's all part of, of who I am and my journey in life. And now I've been married for 30 years to my husband, Tony. I have a beautiful family. Uh, God has been very good to us, and I'm so grateful for this new opportunity that I have now in the new incarnation of home and family. Well, you, you're just and, going forever. And working with the Hallmark Channel, so it's great. You we do, have great you, great movies for television on Hallmark, do, you, too. You do. Yeah. You know, I wanted to buy them. You know, I did really it? did. Yes! It worked for you again. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been fun. <laughs> it's a little late now, but I, they really didn't quite have it. They had a guy named Halmy doing a lot of their, their, their movies, and, and I thought, you know, 
thought we could maybe do a deal with them. That oh. was in my deal days. Oh. Um, but they, they were fledging, but they, they're doing very well. They have wonderful programs. Right, right. a good family program. Yeah, the Hallmark, it's great. Uh, card. The, yeah. they, they Hallmark Channel and Crown beautiful Media. Beautiful cards. Yeah, so it's good. But anyhow, well, anyhow, please give Tony my best. We love you all. It's such a joy to see you. It's nice to see you, and I hope you, I know you're here every morning, but I hope you have an opportunity to watch our show. When's it on? It's on every single morning, Monday through Friday. It's 10 o'clock uh, on the East Coast. Oh, it is? Okay. Yes, and 7 o'clock on the West Coast, and uh, two hours live every single day. You come into a real home with real family situations. Whoa. Anything you want to do, uh, cooking, DIY projects, uh, anything that has to do with the home and family, we're there. Fantastic. We have so much fun. I bet you we do. do. Well, that's yeah. great. Well, you're going to cook for us today. I'm going to cook for you. I'm going to cook. The whole studio is yes. permeated. Doesn't it smell it good? some kind of yeah. Italian delight. I don't know what it is. Well, it's a bolognese sauce. It's perfect because when I went outside this morning, I could just feel the air starting to turn. Yeah, yeah. It's getting a little crisp outside. And I thought, well, this is a perfect sauce because it's it's very hearty and meaty. And, and uh, it's, it's nice to sit down and cuddle up with. <laughs> Show Terry how to do it so we can cuddle up together. We cuddle up with your significant other, not a bowl well, of pasta. But you oh. know what I mean. But we're going to do that. Well, well, for Christina Ferrara, mealtime means more than just tossing a couple ingredients in a pot and stirring. In fact, it's more than the food. It's the presentation and especially the chance to be with loved ones. So, Christina, thank you for being Thanks, here. Thanks, Harry. It's nice to be back again. Yes, we've got. <laughs> so, it's so heavenly. So I just wish Does this was smell vision. <laughs> yes, because it really is. You're going to make a dish that you call. It's a bolognese sauce. It's a, a basic meat sauce it's from a classic recipe. And the reason why I wanted to make it is my dear friend Henry Winkler. This is his favorite sauce. And he wanted to come on our show, Home and Family, to make it with me so he could brag about it, which made me feel good because I got an endorsement from such yeah. a wonderful person. <laughs> so uh, we he came on. And I wanted to share it with your audience here because, you know, like I said to Pat, the, the, um, the air is changing outside. This is a wonderful family meal to, to come mm -hmm. home to. It's a real hearty stick to your ribs type of sauce. It, it's one of the things that's in your new cookbook. It's Big in my bowl cookbook. of love. Big bowl of love. And it's and so we we're going to tell you about how you can get a hold of that in a little bit. But first let's look at what you're cooking today. Okay, this is really uh, it looks like it's complicated but it's not. The first thing we're going to do is I'm gonna take the lid off of here, but I'm going to add I pre-cooked some of this pasta so it would be ready by the time we're finished with our segment. So Terry, I'm going to ask you if you would kindly mm -hmm. just put the pasta in there just to warm it up. And what we did here is I have a pan that has some olive oil in it. And by the way, all of the ingredients and the instructions are on your website and my website. So um, if you miss anything this morning, you can always go there to get everything. Mm -hmm. So we have olive oil, some ground beef, ground pork onion, celery, and carrots. And we saute the onion, celery, and carrots first in the olive oil for a few minutes, added the beef, and while it was still raw, we just, you know, try to break it up a bit. And we added some milk. And the reason why I use milk in the recipe, the milk breaks down the protein in your ah. beef. And it makes it very tender and gives it a wonderful moist um, uh, flavor to it. So it, yes. uh, it yeah, and when you when you eat it, and you, you you will when you taste it. It has a wonderful um, texture to it as well, and that's mm -hmm. what the milk gives it. Uh, after you cook the milk completely down, like we've done uh -huh. over here, what you want to do is add some wine. You add the white wine, and to that we're going to add some tomato paste. Now, what I do with the tomato paste is. Oh, since we don't have time this morning, but I'll tell you, you cook the to tomato paste for about two minutes. And you do this because you want to get the acidity mm -hmm. out of the tomatoes. So you'll cook this for two minutes. And we're, my mouth is watering. I can't even speak. Okay. <laughs> it, it was smelling so all this. Mine, I know. <laughs> so we're going to pretend that that, but can you see the creamy consistency? Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's from the milk. All right. Now to that, I'm going to add some tomato puree. And then to the tomato puree, you're going to add a, some sugar, about a tablespoon of sugar. And the reason okay. why I do that is uh, tomatoes in a can have a lot of acid mm -hmm. to it. So you're going to want to add some of the sugar to give it a little bit of the yeah. sweetness so it tastes more like fresh tomatoes. Now, as you can see, this is really thick and you want to water this down. So you're going to add a cup and a half of water to this and then mix it all up going to put the lid on it and you're going to simmer it on low heat for about an hour. Now if it gets uh, too thick again you can just keep adding, adding a, little more. a little bit more water. Okay. All right. That mm -hmm. smells See, Very good. This is mm -hmm. it's still a little bit too thick and I would add mm, another half a cup of water or so. 
because uh, you don't want it to be like chili. You want it to be a nice sauce mm -hmm. and to, to for it to coat the uh, the pasta. All right, the pasta is ready over here. Ooh, but before we do that, I want to show everybody. I wonder if we can. We don't have an overhead, right? But can we get a a here, shot of yeah, the uh, the sauce? Ooh, that's Look at that. beautiful. That beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to take this pot, which, by the way, I should have used the pot holders because this is hot. You want? <laughs> okay, no, I'm all right now. <laughs> wow. I guess it's, oh, the secret to, now I use a pappardelle pasta, which is a thick pasta, which is perfect for this type of um, uh, spaghetti sauce, but you can use any kind that you uh -huh. like if you can't find pappardelle, but this is the classic way to serve it. Look at that. It's, I like Look, it because it's, it's like, like ribbons. Yeah, it's like homemade <laughs> noodles, which I really love. Yum. All right, I'm going to switch places. Okay. With you. I'm going to come over here. And to that, I'm going to add the sauce. Mm. And then I'm going to mix the sauce in in the noodles ah, okay. into the pappadelle pasta. You know, most people think that you have to put the sauce white and then put the sauce, I mean, the pasta, serve it white and then put the sauce over it. The but Italian like way of doing it, it, it is, is to mix yeah, it up. Yeah, this is to uh -huh. mix it up. All right, so now we're going to taste. I'm going to put a little bit in here. Awesome. Okay. And then some sauce over that. Now to that, if you're going to serve some cheese, please use a block of Parmesan cheese that you can grate fresh. fresh okay. Mm -hmm. So do that. And then I have some fresh basil. Ooh, love and fresh there basil. There you go. Voila. Beautiful. And oh, that's this. for you. Just want to smell it. All right, I'm going to taste the sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. Can I do it? Mm. I'm run. That was good. Oh my word. Mm -mm. Oh, well, we my made word. enough for the crew, you guys. We doubled the recipe so everybody can have this some after my bowl right here. Uh, there you <laughs> it go. It is fabulous. We want to thank you for being here. I want to tell people you can get this recipe, as Christina mentioned, logging out to CBN.com. If that's not enough, she has more than 150 other great options in her beautiful book. It's called Christina Ferrara's Big Bowl of Love, and it is gorgeous. I'm a cookbook collector. You want to get this one. It's available in stores nationwide. Recipes you can make easily presentation that will impress your family and great family time together. Thank you, Terry. And I want Thank to invite you. everybody to watch Home and Family on the Hallmark Channel every day. We'll be giving you wonderful recipes and great ideas for your home and family. So I'm please, in. please look us up. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Thank you.